so this this is what it's come to huh pain once again hey guys welcome back to Marvel rule 16 i am your host javon and today we're back for a brand new video to be showing you guys how to run marvel's guardians of the galaxy on a low-end pc or intel hd graphics now this won't work for everybody but it works for me here i'm testing this on my intel core i3 7100u with the intel hd 620 integrated graphics they're running with 16 gigabytes of ddr4 ram and dual channel memory and as you can see when you launch the game naturally it will say not suitable no suitable direct 3d 12 adapter found Please check minimum requirements which sucks hated that but there is a way around that now like I said it doesn't work for every computer I have but it works for the Intel HD 620 and what you do is you simply create a shortcut we're simply going to right click on properties we're going to the, go to the target field you can also do this on the Steam version as well space and we're going to type in shared VRAM I forgot to put the dash you're gonna put a dash right there there you go so we're dash shared VRAM, we're going to hit apply, and then we're going to hit OK. Now we're simply going to launch the game again, and see what happens. This was the only way we were able, I was able to get this game running on the Intel HD 620, otherwise it crashes. I tried DXVK, it did not work. I have already checked out that the game does go into gameplay, so it does work. And I just wanted to put this video real quick to let you guys know that there is a way to play it on Intel HD graphics. The next video I'll post is actually the benchmark showing you me in game with my statistics and everything up here, showing you the frame rate and everything like that. You see, it's a different, it's a different now because I put in the shared VRAM. Your graphics driver is older than supported, and this started main cut of problems. But you still can. Can do you want to continue with these current drivers? Yes. And here the game loads in. Obviously, they said that the developers said that this game was extremely, you know, it's very demanding game. They weren't wrong about that, but you can run it on low end hardware. And you simply hit play. Now, another thing I got with the DSVK is when I hit play, it would crash right about here. It would crash, it would show me the screen and then crash. This won't happen with the Intel HD 620. It will play straight through and it will not crash. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. I just figured I needed to let people see that we actually can run the game on the Intel HD 620. I'm glad my overalls came up and everything. As you can see, the game does boot up. I'll see you guys next time and stick around for the actual benchmark video showing you the game actually in-game running. I'll see you guys next time.